And welcome to another edition of Magic the Gathering Booster Drafting on Forge. Today's episode is Full Pool Draft. So all 15,000 cards thrown into the pot. And I've already drafted the deck. And I've gone for a white-blue and the opening hand is Night Guard Patrol. I love this one, Crib Swap. It's funny because he just watched that movie Border a few days ago, which is a great little film. And uh, I believe it's from Scandinavia. So check it out. It's called Border, or I think it's Trance in the original language but uh yeah when you see this card it's uh totally throws me back to the film okay and i've got shackles i think i have a lot of this type of uh, card in this deck so i'm going to keep this oh turn that down all right and the ai starts off with a Saparazin, Saparazin Cove. And uh, I'm recording here in 1440, so you will see all the art as I see it, as clearly as I see it. I tried 1080p, but it just doesn't work. It's just um, too dull. So it's going to be a massive file to upload, but anyway. Um, I have done, I found out one thing about Forge. You know, I was complaining about this before. The the AI has a problem with attacking when it when I have like a wall up or one good blocker. It will hold back attacking even when it had four or five creatures outnumbering me because it was afraid to lose one. So it lost a lot of games that way. So I was like driving me nuts why I would do this. Anyway, I was reading on the forums that somebody else was complaining about the same thing. And they tried altering the uh, AI's um, um, algorithms for how it plays. And there's a setting. I think you can choose normal, cautious, and something else. So I had it on normal. And then this person mentioned that they had tried the cautious setting. And that was actually doing the opposite of being cautious. It was actually starting to attack and uh, wear me down um, by you know, attacking with its five creatures when I had only one or two blockers. So I switched it, and now it's actually being a little more aggressive, which is great. So let's see how that plays out here. And this deck should be fun. I've done a little preview on it. So I've got a uh, Griffin Protector here. Which set is this? This is from Magic 25. Uh, that was 2018. So I'm trying to go for a lot of flyers, and I believe a lot of vigilance. So that's it. And now they're putting storage counters on here. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. It's the Vodalian Mage. Always loved Quentin Hoover's artwork. This dates back to 1994 with the uh, one of the top two expansions ever created. Fallen Empires. The number one expansion, of course, was Homelands. So I highly recommend you seek out a set of Homelands. Even it co if it costs you $20 on eBay. Just get it. All right, so uh, we're going to follow up with the, another white, and it's going to be time for... Hmm, Geist of the Moors. Well, that might be okay. But I'm going to start with the uh, Night Guard Patrol, since he has Vigilance. And let's see how long it takes before this gets removed. Okay, uh, bring out another blue or white. Let's go for the white. And bring out the... Griffin Protector. Oh, and I'm being countered. Should have expected that.
Okay, now we got another flyer, so I'm not going to have to deal with that. Here's a nice card. Rush of Knowledge. I think I played that on a 6-6. Um, one game. And I actually do six cards. So if you time it right, it's great. So I got Geist of the Moors. And I probably will... I could also crib swap this two to one, but I'm not going to do that yet. I will first bring out this three one and attack. I don't care who blocks. And it brings out a one one and puts a uh, okay a token on the vapor kin. All right, so now it's time to probably turn that 3-2 into a changeling. Oh, and he countered it. Very nice. So I'm going to wait and see what happens when I attack. If it decides to block. Well, now I'm going to put the... Uh, shackles on the vaporkin since it does give me the ability to remove the shackles when I need it later so it's going to get in some points here brings out elvish visionary and the glimmer dust nap I am using a Sony mic on this. I've been experimenting with recording here with my zoom recorder. While the zoom H2N has a you know nice set of built-in mics they tend to pick up all the other ambient noise in the room. So I'm sticking with the more of a directional mic here. Alright so Glimmer Dust Nap. And so, okay so what is he putting this on? My Geist of the Moors. Nice. All right, so I've got uh, Terramorphic Expanse. So might as well sack that to get another uh, island. So now I will have to put something down on a creature. I guess it doesn't really matter right now. First I'm going to attack. Or should I get the Rush of Knowledge? This is only going to be... Three cards? Why not? I need some cards. Oh, here comes Stasis. You know, it's been so long since I played this card. It's probably one of the most irritating cards in Magic's history. That I completely forgot how to play it. And it's tricky because you play it and you better make sure that you have the, um, the mana to pay for it on the next turn. So I might tap all my blue to put it out, and then of course during upkeep I don't have any untapped blue mana because it won't untap. So you have to keep feeding it, and so I have to wait until I have some extra blue. So is it time to put out Hauling Mine? Well, I can't do that either right now. So I am just going to attack since I have first strike. And it does not attack, no surprise there. Now the time I need to play stasis is after the AI has tapped all its lands. So I'm going to bring out the flyer. And again, it's countered. Unless I pay five, okay. So nothing happening there. Brings out a 2-2. Two, two. I'm not worried about that. Little old grizzly bears. What is this? Must have been... I'm guessing... 5th edition? Because I think 95 was 4th edition. So that must have been the 5th edition grizzly bears. Looks like they finally changed the art there. Okay, now this is a good one. Knightly Valor. This is from the M19 set. It's fairly recent. 
Not only do you get the 2-2 white knight with vigilance, your enchanted creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and has vigilance. Well, I've already got a plus 2, plus 2. So the question is, uh, what do I do with it? I might as well... Uh, this would be pumping it up to a, a 4, which might... Uh, and so unfortunately, it's not a flyer. I could have really used that flyer. So I'm not worried about using Paralyzing Grasp yet. So I think I'm going to start putting out the Howling Mine to get the extra cards. And then I'll put Knightly Valor on my patrol. And I'm getting blocked finally as it's down to seven. It's drawing two cards. So I'm going to be... Here's the other one. The pen... Tarsh Ward. Enchant uh, creature. As he enters the battlefield, choose a color. And you get protection from that color. Okay, so I could set it to green, and then the only thing that's going to be able to block me is that Vodalian Mage. I could also just put it on the uh, Knight. Hmm. I'm going to put it on the Patrol. Protection from green. And now I could put this on something that I would have to pay, but it doesn't really have anything expensive out. Oh. Stitch Drake. Was that my regular card draw? No, was that my... Did I get that from the card? Whatever. I could also get this out. And I will remove a card from the graveyard. And attack with everything. And while I have, still have one left, I will... Um, Put a uh, upkeep cost on what? On this one, since it's blocked. See if it continues to pay for it. Not much happening there. Hmm, should I stasis? I could keep that going for a few turns. It won't be able to bring anything out. I don't think I'm really going to need it. Well then of course I attack with these two. Let's just uh, continue on. Oh, what's this? Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your mana pool of any type that land produced. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Okay. Yeah, I'm always uh, having to learn new cards. When you play full pool, it's great because if you're not familiar with thousands of cards, and most people aren't, you are going to be dealing with these new situations, and that's the fun part of it, is uh, every game this way, you just will not get used to seeing combos. I mean, you can load up, you know, pre-built killer decks in Forge. There are hundreds of these types of decks, but I don't find that interesting. It's uh, weird because most people like Magic because of the customization aspect of the game where you can build your own kind of deck the way you want or play somebody else's uh, tournament deck. But I don't find this interesting at all. I much would rather have a random or limited pool where you just have to, you know, you might get a lot of good stuff, but you'll get some garbage as well. And you just won't have the optimum deck. And it's just hilarious to play some of these cards. 
Um, otherwise, they would never see play. And you're just going to see a lot of combos that normally you would never get. And it just goes on and on. I mean, I've played thousands of games on here and, you know, over the last seven months, and I'm still not bored with it. And that cannot say that about any other game I've ever played. I mean, even board games, the best ones, you know, if I get in 10 plays, I'd consider that an achievement before I sell it. Because things just get too predictable too quickly. Whereas Magic has had a, uh, you know, a period of growth going over, what now, 25, 26 years? From 1993 up till now, at, at, you know, at least three sets a year being released. And the amazing thing is this uh, program actually does play fairly decently considering all the amount of cards that they've had to program in here to actually work with each other. So I'm about to uh, get my... Oh, there's the one I wanted. Flying Vigilance. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to another target creature this turn by sources of color of your choice. That's come in handy. So I could put this out. Might as well. And it's game over. So, I'll continue on with the, uh, this is a best of three. And here's something nice, the Archangel. When I saw this artwork, I recognized the style right away as being from one of the original magic artists from 93, Quentin Hoover. So it's great to see him doing art for the game. Fairly recent. I don't know how many other cards he's done, but I would assume a lot of these artists from the original set are very expensive to to hire nowadays. I believe there was a game, a board game that was going to come out a year or two ago, and I think Richard Garfield had designed it, and they the main selling point of the game was that it was using art from the original magic artists from 93, 94. That's how they were pushing it. Well, it turned out that the game became really expensive because to license all this art from these original artists, they were charging a lot of money. And the game tanked. Nobody kickstarted it because it was too expensive. So we're going to see here. I'm going to keep this, even though I've only got two mana. And... Uh, Start off with an island. I could be in trouble if I don't get something out soon. I can't bring out the drake, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to... This one will probably end up in the graveyard soon enough when they both attack. And that's all I need, is to block. And then get the drake out. Maybe have a little bit of a sound effect in there. All right, no shortage of mana. So I could already do card draw, but that's too soon. I'm going to have too many cards. So let's get some things out and I'm going to put this on and I'm going to give it protection from green. And uh, I don't have enough mana to do anything else, but I did get a card. Okay, that was one of my, you know, secondary picks in the draft. I mean, that's the tough part. When you're drafting, you really want to stick to two colors. In a 40-card deck, running three already gets to be a problem. And you often will want to do that. But sometimes it's 
better just to cut you know the five cards of the third color and just stock up on the two colors that you're majoring in it just uh, makes the deck flow a lot better and I would say the lands in this set are probably around uh, 17 on a 40 card deck Oh, for some reason I thought I was going to have Vigilance. Okay. So next up is uh, the Aerial Responder. Oh, he's playing Glimmer Dust Nap, and that would probably be on my Stitch Drake. Okay, so I will respond with Geist of the Moors. Now this is a strange card. I don't know where it's pulled this. It looks like it came from Magic Online. <laughs> this is apparently a set. But there's no description text. It has an artist name. There's no year. Yet this is a random card that was pulled from the set. I mean, it, I've played Magic Online. And that looks exactly like a generic creature that the game would play. So I don't know why that is showing up as an actual released edition. But it must have been, because it shows as ANA, and I don't know what set that is. If you look on the upper right of the screen there, you'll see this as a symbol of what set it's from. So I'll have to research that and figure it out. But it's a generic 4-4. And I won't be able to block it. So what am I going to do? With my mana, I still don't have enough to get out the Archangel. I could bring out the Thunder Totem, which is probably a good idea at this point. Because next turn, I'll have enough. So I'm just going to attack with both, since I am getting life points. Still doesn't attack. See, that's surprising. It would have got through. Oh, an Assault... Zeppelin, Zeppelid. Oh, that's nice art. That is a flying trap of the 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so I think it is time to crib swap. I love this card. And, uh, or do I bring out the Archangel? I think it's Crib Swap. First we want to get rid of the 3-3. Three, three. I could also activate this one into a 2-2. Two, two. And attack. There's nothing to block me, so... That's it. So, we're into round two. So this would be the second AI compilation. And this is looking so-so. Uh, I'm going to have to be playing Howling Mine here. Or should I put this on there? Pay its cost or sacrifice it? You know, the AI likes to continue to pay the costs of things, even when it shouldn't. So this might actually slow it down from putting anything else out for a while. There you go. So next I'll play uh, my Thunder Totem. And he's shocking me for two. Oh, we still managed to get something else out. Very nice. All right, Griffin Protector. 
and nothing happening there so two three four five six. oh i have enough for this one already wow and it's countered i should always wait why do i do this you know i'm not even going to attack So the early responder Griffin Protector does get a plus one if I bring out another creature. Well, I so does that mean the I constantly can pump up the um, Griffin Protector, but if I pump it up to a three four, it's going to get blocked by these two but it might be worth it no it didn't that's interesting it should have when another creature enters the battlefield it gets plus one well this entered the battlefield hmm I thought that would that should um that should definitely activate it. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot of this because this might be a bug. All right. All right, so is there any point of attacking? It can take out any of any three of my creatures here. So I'm not going to bother but I will put out the Howling Mine. Some out of cards. Okay, that's good timing. Yeah, I see the Air Ele Elemental came in and the Griffin got its plus one. Now that should have happened with the Thunder Totem. So I'm going to attack with the, uh, see that was, I was expecting that, so we're going to take out the Sky Scout first. Alright, nothing happening there. Two cards around is always great. And we'll activate the uh, artifact and go in for... Still didn't block. And he brings out a 3-3 uh, three, three Gathen Raiders. Which set was this? 2010? I don't even remember half of these symbols. Because plus 2, plus 2 if you have no cards in hand. Okay, he has one left. So this could be very soon becoming a 5-5... Five, five. And a chain flinger. Nice art. So this is um, like a prodigal sorcerer, but you got to pay for it. 
Okay. The Moth Dust Changeling. That's also uh, 11 years old, that card. Goblin Raider. The Avon Fisher. These are all high quality scans I'm using in here, so you really can see the art. Nice and sharp. All right, so it's time to give uh, protection to what? Which one? We'll give it to the Windrake. Since that's the only one that's going to get blocked by the Avon Fisher. So we will give it protection from blue. And I got another card. Was that because of the ward? Yes, all right. And now would be a good time to play stasis. Um, because I do have Vigilance. So let's wait and see what happens first. So if there's no untap phase, I can keep this going for a while. What is this changeling doing? I don't have to worry about this. So now the fun part. It can't play anything. I will pay the upkeep. Or should I? Does it matter? I guess I can cancel it right now. Draw two cards. So even if you get that one turn with stasis, that prevents the uh, opponent from untapping their l tapped lands, that might be all you need. So I think that... Um, I can't actually win right now because my... Uh, well, actually, this would help. Okay. That should do it. All right, one down. I've been trying to change this to make it a one win for Gauntlet, but I don't think you can do it. Seems like it always wants to do two out of three. So it does take a bit longer to get through the... Uh, seven opponent gauntlet I was playing a beta booster draft yesterday and I think I'm going to do a video on one of those it's just so great to see the beta cards again and the colors they were just so rich I mean it, it just immediately just pops right out of the screen and you can see why they're so valued just for the coloring I mean after that you had unlimited which of course removed the black borders so that already was a bad move okay so we'll start with uh, a flyer What's this? Nice. This is from 2006. I've never seen this card before. I think that was the Time Spiral edition. All right. So I do have... Um, Either one of these would work, so I guess I'm going to have to put this, or I could also crib swap it. Hmm. But that gives it a 1-1, one, one. so let's just use these for now. 
It's going to get in one hit. Though... That might not have been the best idea. Time for the mine. Since I do have some cards that can... Oh, and he pulls it back. Okay. Bring out a planes. And I could do the same thing with this 2-2. Two -two. I could just change it. Once it has threshold, seven cards in the graveyard, okay, that's not going to happen for a while. So right now I can still do one damage. Not enough to kill anything. I could put the... Um, let's watch what happens when I do this. Just for kicks. I bet you the AI will continue to pay for its flame core, even though it shouldn't. It can't untap it. But I take advantage of this, and um, I'm also going to crib swap this one. So it did pay for it. Okay, so now it's uh, time for my 2-3 and also this one. And he sends it back. Alright, we'll try that again. Do I want to shackle anything? The problem with the uh, with all the spells I have in this deck is they only work once the creature is already attacked. This would be great for uh, if I had that earlier. So I don't know. I'll be getting lifelink, so it's doubtful it's going to even attack me. So I don't think I need to use any of these. I'll just bring out the totem. No blockers, of course. Brings out the mystery 2-2. Two, two. Don't know why that is. Murder investigation. Enchant creature you control when the creature dies. Put X white soldier tokens into the battlefield where X is its power. Yeah, that would be great on something here. And I don't know what is going to die, but... Start by bringing out my 2-3. And I might as well get this going as well. So there, it's the Gaffin Raiders. Okay. And he's attacking. And I can't stop it. But I will now probably put the... Uh, one of these on it, the shackles. What's my second card? Okay. So shackles on him. Then can I bring out the stitch drake? No. Oh wait. No, that's an instant. It's not a creature, so I don't even, I can't even bring out the drake yet. So I'm going up against the Sky Scout, and now I can't get through. It could block with this and the Albatross and take out either one of these. If I could bring a creature into play, I would get the uh, Griffin up. 
But the Thunder Totem doesn't seem to do the job like it should. Of course, I could put Murder Investigation on the Griffin Protector so that when it dies, I mean, but I'm only guaranteed to take out is the Albatross. That's kind of stupid. So maybe I should wait. Hmm. But I have three flyers. Maybe it's a worth attacking anyway. Maybe the uh, Sky Scout will um, go for the glider. But most likely it would want to take out the aerial, aerial responders. All right, let's just go all four. Oh, what's this? There's another creature with flying. All right, that leaves me with uh, three mana. And I could put the shackles on what? The shapeshifter? Hmm. Just going to put this on the um, responders. Another flyer, which again, I'm not going to block. I keep forgetting that this guy is attacking me. Why didn't I put the uh, shackles on him? Let's do that now. All right, and now I can... So what's the deal? Why is it not letting me play the... Still no... Uh... Creatures in the graveyard, really? Okay, so again, it's now going to be able to take out anything I send at it. But it will have to block with both. So let's just attack with all three. And now, if something attacks, why did... I thought the shackles were on the raiders. Why did they untap? I don't get it. Shackles does not untap. So why did it untap? I don't understand. Did I miss something here? Um... Casey triggered Merfolk Sky Scout targeting Gathen Raiders. So what is this? Oh, whenever it attacks or blocks, he gets to untap it. So what I have to do is... Oh, it's too late now. It's going to have a chance to attack again. So I'm going to have to remove it. It's too late. Wait. And it's too late to actually play it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to block it. I should have just kept my uh, mana open for that chastise. That was a mistake. This is like the fourth time that thing has gotten through. And finally I can play this one. And it is countered. <laughs> okay. So now what? Every time I put the shackles on the thing, it's just going to uh, untap anyway because the merfolk is going to block. I need to bring another creature into play. 
He's got two, actually, two creatures that can block, so I might as well attack. You can't stop them all. There you go. Overthinking things here. Oh, this looks really pathetic. Let's, uh... Let's mulligan that one. Scry for a planes? Do I... Oh, I'm already done, so I'm going to have to keep it sure. It's going to take a while before I get this guardian angel out. So that's all I've got. And I have to discard two cards. Are you kidding me? Uh, I need the white. Okay, so we'll stick with the blue. Still can't get anything going here. Killed. And now I'm short mana. I had the mana. But that's it. Well, I might as well take the life points. And destroyed. Nicely done. So I might as well put the grasp on this thing. Okay, uh, I'm taking a chance, but we shall see. Okay. Now it's time for um, <laughs> Rush of Knowledge. That would get me five cards. I'd actually have nine cards, and I'm gonna, I would have to discard. Well, first of all, let's just put this on here. <laughs> get rid of some stuff and the totem out, and hopefully that the angel lasts for another turn before it's killed. Okay, so now it's time for Rush of Knowledge. Not going to get much better than this. <laughs> oh, that was a rush. And I've got my stasis again, so now I can get that out. It's got nothing. I'll wait until he taps. And until then, let's get uh, the elemental out. And then get uh, vigilance on it. I think that's going to do it. Sweet. Oh, nice. Plus that. Okay, who's getting minus two? Oh, he's just going to get rid of the knight. Okay. Sorry, not enough. All right, that was quick. Okay, acceptable. All right. And I do not have enough to bring out um, my area responder, so I have to go for the drake. Which will be taken out. Okay, now I can get it out. I will attack. Okay, so I've got two angels, and I don't have quite enough for this one, so 
Hmm. Whenever you creature control explorers target portal to get minus two, is this worth crib swapping? Or should I crib swap the uh, two one? That might be better. Because then it's not going to block me. Now, what's the deal here? When he enters the battlefield, put a plus one on each of up to two target creatures. Okay, so now I wish I had not crib swapped because I won't be able to stop this one or this one. But I can do Paralyzing Grasp. And uh, I still can't get out my Angel. Hmm. So what, is it time for stasis? No, it's too early for stasis. Uh, and the Howling Mine. All right, let's put this on there. Get the mine going, because I need the land. If I attack now, I've got five, and I'm trading that off for eight. Well, I'm ahead, so... Let's do it. You can have it. Oh, Eater of the Dead. One game I crib swapped Eater of the Dead. I mean, just the, uh, the imagery is hilarious. You know, the... Um, you know, imagine the mother of Eater of the Dead comes home expecting Eater of the Dead in the crib and finds this. He's so cute. All right, so that means I've got my uh, angel out. And that was it for the angel. <laughs> Yeah, you get all excited bringing out these creatures and then they don't hang around. So the next best one is going to be the Archangel. So let's see. And then, uh, what? I guess that's it. What's he doing? Every card in her hand. Oh, nice. Took four points. Should have waited until I drew that second card. That was a mistake. Okay, so I'm going to put um, Knightly Valor on the Windrake. Not really going to need this. Uh, who got a knightly valor? What? Who got attacked there? Who got destroyed? Um, naturalized, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Okay, got rid of the enchantment. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's all too late. Do I want to keep my hand? Uh, ooh, only two mana. It's a bit risky, but do it. Okay, could be in trouble. Luckily, I'm not. Hopefully, this is going to stay alive for a couple turns. Nope. <laughs> All right, next attempt. Nope. <laughs> this is a good one. All right. Ah. 
First strike. That's not going to prevent the 3 3 from getting through. But it will stop one of them. No, jeez. Might actually lose this one. I can't get anything out. Is it time for stasis? Oh, no. Because then it's nothing is untapping. And then next turn, I'll have to pay upkeep and I can only get out. I need to get out at least one creature before I can do stasis. So, with five mana, I can only get some life or I'm going to have to uh, crib swap this one. No, sorry, shackle that one. And I'm going to take some more hits now. Or, well, I could stasis, and at least they won't untap. Yes, I'll just get the one turn break. It gets its two points in. Can't pay it. Oh, shit, I forgot I'm not untapping myself. Okay, that looks like that's going to be it then. That was a mistake. Well, it's nice to see when you lose a game. Um, even if I get the four points, I'm going to get uh, hit with what here? Two, four, six points. I don't have enough to do everything at once here. I could take one of them out. Let's put this out first. No, that's still going to allow two creatures through, so I can't even do that. Okay, I have to get the life. All right, so who is in shackles here? The uh, Poison Belly Ogre. All right, that's still the worst one. So I've got six points coming at me. I need a blocker. And that might be enough. Let me see. I can get out my 3-1 flyer. And then I can... Who's the worst here? The 2-3, sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Uh... And this has got Forest Walk, I don't care. So maybe the Mantis, but this thing is sacrificing creatures for two. Just to draw. Oh, I'm going to go for the Mantis. I don't know if this is going to make any difference. It's only, it's turning it into a one. Yeah, that's it. Nice. All right, I'll try that again. Again with two mana. Not going to see anything out here for a few turns. Oh, that's it. See, mana screw is still entirely possible. Even when your, your deck is almost 50% lands. I mean, look at this. I already have to discard, so out goes the angel. And what am I going to do? Take the shadow glider? Uh, I'd rather put the mantis. Hmm. I'm probably going to have to... The first strike is not going to help me. But I will, just to block the 2-1. And then I can put the uh, Paralyzing Grasp on the 2-4. And I can attack. Oh, no! Take one of these out and gain life equals to it, to its power. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Attack away. You will be chastised. Mr. Dreadbringer Lampads. Is that a division of Kotex? The Lampads, super absorbent. 
course, he brings out a 3-4. Now I'm going to have a tough time. I've only got five mana. Ah. Oh. That's all I can do. And they're all destroyed. I can't believe this. I'm going to lose another game. That's so rare. Oh, this is so bad. What am I going to do? Take out the 3 4? I got to take out the. Uh... I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, seriously. This is messed up. Creature comes into play, its controller loses one life. Well, this is... And this is getting plus for being blocked. Uh, do I want to lose life if I have to bring out a creature? What do I want to turn here? I'll turn this one. Still taking four points. It's completely pointless. Wow. That is so rare to lose two in a row. I may not be able to beat this deck. Okay, that's going to be a mulligan. Chastise, do I want to keep it? I don't even have white. So no, I'm not even going to keep this. I need land. I could get out one creature with Vigilance. Already destroyed. I've gone up against the wrong deck, and I'm screwed. This is a very bad matchup, and also because I'm not getting any mana out. I'm going to have to stasis. I can do this for one more turn. Uh, hmm, do I want to pay for this? Because my land is... I still can't get anything out. Oh, I got rid of my... And now I'm going to take the hits. This is not... This is not good. to do I can only block one of them no and I can't even get that out so I'm quite screwed here I need protection from from black ah it's probably going to be killed this is a really good deck. I may not be able to beat it. It's already time to get life. God damn that dog. I live in a building here with nothing but dogs on every floor. And there's always one that's yapping. Can't stand to be away from its mommy for more than 20 minutes.
All right, what am I going to bring out? I have no much choice here. Just to gain life points, I'll have to bring this one out. And uh, watch it get killed on the next turn. Oh, really? Okay. I'm just being overwhelmed here. I can get protection from... I should really take protection from green, but I'm going to take protection from black. I got a card, which means I can get something out of the grave. And I guess that's my best bet right now. And I might as well attack because the giant mantis... Oh, he's got island walk. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. At least I could keep up. But there's no stopping it. The river bear. I need to get more life and quick. Take the four life now and tan creature you control. When it dies, put a soldier tokens into place. Hmm. Which one? I think that I will have to do this for now and keep attacking. I still can't take out the... Uh, there's no point attacking with the drake. Oh. This sucks. This sucks. Okay, paralyzing grasp. Just in time. Now if my creature dies, I'll get some 1-1s. One -ones. Leash of the Hollows. Okay, what's this? 97. Okay, I was buying cards, so I guess this is Weatherlight. I did buy... I started in 95, so I think I was buying up until like 98. Weatherlight Visions, that was around the last sets I bought. So if it's put in a graveyard, each player may pay any amount of mana to put that number of scroll tokens into play. Wow. Okay, and I cannot kill it, unfortunately. All I can do is hopefully block it, keep the mana free. And all I can do now is you know, if I had made responder um, given it protection from green, I would have managed to get through that giant mantis. Like this was really stupid. All right, who's attacking? Huh, they're all attacking, of course. So, I'm not going to be able to stop this, I don't think. I mean, the 4-2, I can block this one and take them out. Meaning there's 2, 4, 7, 10, 13, 15 coming through. All I can do is block what doesn't make any difference, does it? Let's see. Do I get my life points first? See, that's the question. Let's just um, turn these on here. Where exactly does the uh, lifelink come into play? Because if the combat damage happens first, I'll be dead. Because... <laughs> I'm blocking a 4-2, and I would gain 2 life. But this is coming through. Um, 
two, four, seven, ten, eleven, twelve, and I'm gonna block another one. So I might actually survive this. Oh, still in trouble. Two, four, seven, eleven. I don't think I can stop it. I can attack, and then I have to keep the others back. Interesting. Okay, well, let's try this. Block with all of them, just in case he's got some surprise waiting for me where he's going to pump up its toughness. I'm going to lose my... Uh, Okay, now I get some squirrels. Four. Ten. Okay, I actually have to type this in. Is that going to help me? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm. So that leaves an encrust. One of these needs to get tapped. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 creatures. I uh, can't do anything. There's no point in attacking. So it looks like I'm going to continuously lose here. All right, so that's three creatures. Let's just take this one out. He's got forest walk. Okay, so I'm not up against <laughs> nine squirrels. Six squirrels. I could still survive this. Should I attack? No, I shouldn't attack. I'm going to have to wait. Oh, this is actually exciting. All right, he's attacking. Forest walk. Well, obviously I'm going to take him out. Oh, just in time. Please stay alive. Oh, he's not attacking. Okay, is it? No. Is it time for the howling mine? Might as well. And with the uh, Guardian Angel's ability, I could prevent all damage that would be dealt to another creature. So the four squirrels, that's such a combo. A Guardian Angel leading squirrels into battle. I love it. I would be able to give protection to each of these squirrels to block the other squirrels, as I've got enough mana. All right, so let's see what happens here. Flayer Husk. And a 3-4. I'm not too worried about that. I will... Hmm. I could get the Parallel Flux on the Rabid Elephant. If it gets blocked, though, it's be it's becoming a... What? A 5-6? 
that's enough to kill my um, guardian angel. But then again, I could just give um, I could just give the squirrel protection. So let's just put upkeep on this thing. This could almost do it. I cannot get through with the uh, with the squirrels. Oh no! He wants to destroy my. Um... See, this is what I need to prevent all damage to target player or planeswalker. Oh, he can't choose itself. Oh no! I was one away. Are you serious? That means the um, rabid elephant has to be. So I can't protect myself. Still not attacking. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay. I don't have enough now to um, attack. I really need haste. Now the question is if I will survive. It's got four, five, six creatures that can attack me. Wow, can't believe this. So I could give one of these squirrels uh, the ability, but I'm just going to put it on the Archangel. And that's it. Wow. Best game so far. See, now I would just like to stop it here, but I can't because I have to win the second one. You know, and the way it's been going, it's unlikely. What happened there? Did I lose some land? Oh shit, I uh, I just went through my... Uh... Alright, so continuing on here with the uh, aerial responders. Let's see how... No, it doesn't last. There's too much anti-flying ability in here, and now I'm in trouble. Um, I should just give this thing the Pendrel Flux. Which it will keep paying, hopefully. And then I'll put the grasp on it. See? Stupid. Keeps paying it. Meanwhile, I'll try to bring out this so that it gets blasted. But maybe not, because it doesn't have the mana to pay for it. Um, so this I would report as a... Uh, you know, uh, something that needs improvement for the AI, that it continues to pay for creatures that it can't even untap. So can I bring out the Stitch Drake? Yes, I can. Pumps up the uh, Griffin. Still doesn't do anything. Okay, 
So next up, it's a uh, another flyer. The airport runway is clear. <laughs> so now I'm going to put on uh, Knightly Valor onto the Stitch Drake. So this should wrap it up. Oh, close. Yeah, so there you go. You're just taking advantage of a of an AI miscalculation in how it deals with these things. That is the only reason I won. Okay, but I'll take it because I want to get on to the uh, final stages here. Do I want to keep my hand? Yes. Zero one defender is equal to the number of force in play. Okay. Hmm. I've got nothing. Nothing. I'm not even going to be able to get the uh, air elemental out. And he's just destroyed my one um, island. Okay. Destroyed another one. Very good. Urza's, Urza's armor. What was this again? Six. Whenever a seal damage you, that is reduced by one. Okay. Well, I finally got one out, and I can't. I still can't have a single card to play here. Finally, he brings something out, and of course, I'm going to just destroy it as it attacks. This is worth the five points. Oh, what's this? I have to discard. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, I don't want to get rid of any of these. Tough decision. I could keep the Pendrel Flux as well. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this since I have so many cards. Shackle it and Pendrel Flux it. Uh, no, first I'll take the points. All right, so now I'll put on the um, Paralyzing Grasp. Gets in the one attack. And I'm being quickly out uh, outnumbered here. This is not helping. I really wanted to win this. Uh, once I get the Pentrack Ward, I can get protection from what? From green? And then the red gets through. Um, put the shackles on the um it's hard to say what is going to be worse here yeah it's going to be that one so let's just leave it shackled okay it's not ringing anything out right now so i could uh, get out the air elemental All right, it's the same procedure as last year. And I will just give um, vigilance to my air elemental. All right, in this case, I've got four, five, six. I almost have enough to get that one out. Um, protection from what? What do I want protection from here? I'm just going to put murder investigation on here for, for number one and then put out the geist of the moors. Yeah, 
And uh, what am I luckily to get hit by here? Red? Or green? Green flyers not really going to exist. So let's say... Um, protection from red. In case there's some kind of spell blasting business coming on. So I get another card, I get this one out. Thunder Totem. Oh, right. I forgot about the Kami. Okay, so now we've got the uh, Spider. I forget about those all the time. So we'll get out the Angel. Attack with the 6-6. Six, six. That's one down. And then we get another angel out. And that should do it. What? Why only one? Lanowar Elves, too late. Alright, it's a world of flyers. And there's nothing to block. So, going in for, uh, what, 19 points? Why is he only minus 13? Okay. Uh, get a flyer. I don't see much flyer destruction in this game, so first I'll put the uh, upkeep on the spore cap. Pendlehaven, uh huh. All right. And then uh, the aerial responder. Not attacking. It will get blocked. That's fine. I get the points. Hmm. Crib swap this 2-2? Two, two? I don't know what it is. Uh, I can wait. Alright, it's the Raging Regisaur. It deals one damage to target creature or player. Okay, I think I might have to uh, turn that into a 1-1. One, one. So, do I expect any of these creatures to die? That is the question. Which one? Or should I wait? Yeah, I should have put it out. Now, something eventually is going to attack me here, but what? Uh, come on, attack. Nope, nothing. And now it's got two blockers. 
Maybe I need to put the shackles on this thing, or I'll just wait till it attacks. Still nothing. Alright then. Stitch Drake is coming out. Can't stop all of them. And I will wait until there's a possible attack, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'll put murder investigation on... Uh, So what have I got here? Uh, only one that's got uh, vigilance. Finally attacks and I will chastise. Sweet. Okay. What is this one? Um, might as well. I should have put the grasp on the... Uh, well, I did put it on the one. Let you have your measly points. <laughs> now, I could... Have I got any blockers here? Um, yes. Wait a sec. It can block as if it had flying, so I can't get through this one either. If I could tap that one, I would put out the stasis. But I will put the... Uh, this is not untapping. And increase in case anything dies here. So there's nothing really to block. All right. What happened there? Ember Beast? So now it's attacking. I just lost 10. But that's not a big deal. I'll put out the Highling Mine. That was it. And I will keep this. Oops, again, I'm just going through way too quickly here. And now I'm uh, having to discard things like lands. Idiot. So, can I bring anything out? See, I have to discard now. Screwed. And that's sent back to my hand. He's doing a what? He's confiscated my uh, thunder totem. Ah, but he doesn't have uh, the white mana to use it. What's the point? I don't have enough lands here, so again, it's back to uh, putting out the flyer. And that's not so bad. So I will... Should I get this protection from blue? And then I get a card. 
Why not? And I get my extra land. Excellent. I should have put the Pendrel Flux on it. It's going to pay its four. I'm always happy about that. Sacrifice to get a uh, Plains. Leaving me with three mana. It's not enough to stop the uh, next attack. All right, it's time for the good old air elemental. Get a boost to the Griffin Protector. What's this? Vessel of Volatility. Sacrifice for extra mad red mana. Okay. Well, I don't know what the what big deal that's going to be. I'm almost ready to draw cards here, so let's say um, we'll first get some life points. Then attack. It's got nothing. All right. Um, I can draw up to four cards, so... Let's put the um, investigation on. And then he's not attacking. Of course not. So I could um, stasis now. But I don't have uh, anything with Vigilance. Oh, wait a sec. No. That's not enough. I'll still get blocked. So might as well bring out this one. And... That's three points going through. I could stasis. Nothing is untapping here, right? And I'll get one more shot, so let's do it. Nothing for you. Do I want to pay? Nope. And then... In for the final. All right. That was simple. Okay, I will keep this hand as I have an air elemental. I didn't see a lot of uh, land destruction coming up, so let's just get rid of uh, the Terramorphic and get an island. Oh, he's bringing that out. Okay, I don't care. Another island. Way too much land here. And it's killed. Oh, memories. The Rook Egg. I think I actually owned one of these before I sold off all my cards in the late 90s. Okay, that leaves uh, ability to bring out the Three, four, Stitch Drake. Sends it back. And then I might as well... Uh, bring out the uh, Air Elemental.
What's this? Nothing in my graveyard? Oh, right, because I uh, had already removed one, so this is not going to work. Okay, so I get the Thunder Totem and the Howling Mine. So now it looks like we're playing um, 93 Magic, or, you know, thereabouts. We've already got three cards here from the base set, or uh, one of them from Arabian Nights. What's this? Defender? Finally he brings out a 2-3. What is this? Aeronaut Tinkerer. Flying as long as you control an artifact. And he does not. So... I get my extra land. And I think I can finally get out this one. Oh, not good. Just confiscated my Archangel. Tricky. So what I can do is give my Pentrack Ward protection from blue. I mean my air elemental protection. Protection from, hmm, from white. I'm assuming you have protection from the creature itself. And I still have no way to bring out the 3-4, so I can bring out uh, Encrust. Yes, most definitely. I will Encrust you. So now there should be no blocking. Yes. It does attack. Unfortunately, <laughs> why did I put encrust on it? It's not tapping anyway. This is really stupid. It's a complete waste. All right. This is not going to do much because I can't stop the 5-5. Five five and he's countering it as well. This now has protection from white. So I can't put murder investigation on it. And I can now bring out the... the drake because my uh, other creature got countered. Interesting, he's not attacking. See, now that's a mistake. Why wouldn't the Archangel attack? He could have easily gotten through. Stupid. All right, so I got two options here, crib swapping. Maybe I have options to do both. Um, yes, I do. So let's do this. And then just change the Archangel into a 1-1. One, one. Well, that's interesting. So it got changed. And he loses control of it because the Confiscate goes off of it. See, I wouldn't have been sure how to do that if I'd actually been playing with cards. So the creature got exiled. Okay. And because it was exiled, everything goes off of it, and it lost control of it. And that's why I get the 1-1. One, one. All right. Good to know. So that should, uh, that should do it. We're going to go in now with a 3-4 uh, and a 4-4. Four, four. And it can't stop the pain. And I'll just get some life on top of it. And another card. And then we're going in. So this should wrap up the sixth round. So I had trouble maybe on like one of these uh, opponents.
Looks like it's going to be an early howling mine. But I guess early is better than later. Before the opponent gets out too many things. I might be able to get an advantage. Uh, right now that advantage is with my 3-1. Which probably get killed. Okay. Game's going to be really fast. Let's just put this on it. Oh, I don't have enough yet. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll wait till I get something bigger out. Or should I put the... Uh, yeah, why not? I'll put it on there. Okay. And next we'll bring out the uh Hmm. Knightly Valor? No, wait. Oh yes, we want to get this out. Please stay alive. It's gonna to be tough. Destroy target non black creature and that's it. Didn't last. Did I not see that that enchantment was out? I think I'm being a little uh, overzealous here. Okay. Guardian Angel, sacrifice to this. I can now put um, Paralyzing Grasp on the face down card. All right, what is this? Bog Smugglers, Swamp Walk, obviously not going to work. And Necromancer's Mage Mark. Creatures using control that are enchanted get plus one. All right, not a big deal. And next up is to put a Knightly Valor on the Stitch Drake. Get a 2 2 with Vigilance. And oh, there's a classic Torwauki Legend 3 3. Two damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Okay, well, there you go. Now, if I attack with the Geist of the Moors, I get one more attack in before it could get me but that should be enough that's not nothing's going to happen here um and then i'll just put the shackles on this one he's going to get eh what happened there why did he get one one oh because he's enchanted ah Okay. All right. Last game. Whoops, I didn't want to mulligan that. Idiot. Shadow glider, what is this? Okay, um, hmm. I guess I will keep it. Took some damage there. One, three, oh. There it is. Greatest expansion of all time. Fallen Empires. Almost like that art. Poor guy. He's about to be sacrificed. All right, that leaves us with uh, Shadow Glider coming in. Ooh, infectious horror. I will lose two life every time he attacks. Okay. 
then it's time to put Go ahead, attack with both. Brings out a 2-1. I need to, do I need to get the Terramorphic Expanse out? Or should I do Knightly Valor? Uh, I'm going to go for the Knightly Valor on my Shadow Glider. What is this? Soul Stair Expedition. Remove three quest counters and sacrifice every toon target creatures from the graveyard to your hand. Okay. Well, that's not going to be handy for a while. So, um... I have nothing in my graveyard. So now I have to bring out the Expanse. For planes. And now I could give um, something protection from something here. This is not untapping. Whenever this creature attacks the player with the most life, put a plus one. Well, why don't we just give the. Uh... He'd become a. 3-2. Obviously, I still block him. So, I'm just going to put the uh, this on him. With protection from red. Just in case anything weird happens. And that's it. Don't have enough to put that out. So, I'm just uh, attacking. And I cannot bring that out. I can bring out the flyer and the thunder totem. All right. And for four, nothing. There's no point using this yet. And that wraps it up. So there you go. The average time is about two hours to get through a seven opponent gauntlet using Forge. So that was how the full pool works. And it's always a blast. So I think the next episode is going to be beta draft. And I'll probably start that right from the beginning so you can see the draft process. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time.